If you're experiencing sound issues and need to install a solution, then before you do this, you're best off understanding the type of sound that you're experiencing. Knowing the type of sound that you're experiencing is going to allow you to pick the best solution and attain the best soundproofing results. There are two different types of noise that you could be experiencing. The first is airborne noise, and as the name suggests, airborne noise uses the medium of air to travel through. It's an audible sensation, and most commonly this will be things like your neighbours talking, TV or music. The second type of noise is impact noise. This uses the structure as the medium to travel through and is a detectable motion. Impact noise occurs when two surfaces meet, and this could be things like footsteps, a washing machine, or furniture moving. If you know you're experiencing airborne noise, then before you pick a solution, it's best to check exactly where the sound is coming through. Although you might think it's just coming directly through the wall, you could be surprised to find that the noise is actually traveling via flanking transmission. Flanking transmission is when sound uses other routes to travel. This could be things like pipe work, electric sockets, or light fixing. This is often when there is less resistance and so sound can travel through relatively easily. To check, take a glass, turn it upside down, and press your ear against it. Do this around your wall, around the floor it's connected to, and if you can safely reach it, try the ceiling as well. You might be surprised to find where the sound is loudest. Impact noise can also use flanking transmission as a way to travel around a property. This could be something like a washing machine that is then sat on the floor and makes pipes underneath it vibrate. The pipes could potentially travel under various rooms in your house and take the impact vibrations with them. To combat this, you would need to treat the impact noise at the source. In this case, you'd want to place your washing machine on a material that is able to absorb the vibrations instead of passing them down through the floor and into the pipework. Of course, you could be experiencing both impact and airborne noise at the same time. For example, if you live in a flat and your neighbours upstairs are having a party, you may be experiencing music and dancing. Identifying potential weak areas before you start your project gives you the opportunity to incorporate other solutions, such as socket inserts, which can help to reduce flanking transmission and will improve the overall performance of your soundproofing solution. When you have a good understanding of where your sound is coming from and the other areas it could be travelling through via flanking transmission, now is a good time to reach out to us here at iQustic where we will be able to take your problem and find the appropriate solution. If you want to find out more about soundproofing and how soundproofing works then we have other videos ready for you. We also have a blog that is full of information and don't forget that we have our technical support team on hand here every day.